Hi everyone, welcome to episode 48 of Show Me How It's Done. Today I have a fun fold card that I would like to share with you. This is called a gate fold card, not to be confused with the many other gate fold cards out there, but it's really fun in how it opens and kind of locks itself together. So I want to show you how to make not only this kind of festive Christmas one, but a, um, a set using our Autumn Beauty of Tomorrow bundle as well. But the reason I want to start with this one is I'd like to share with you a couple different techniques on how to make this little decal. And I just happen to have all of that stuff handy and ready to go. So in order to make this exact card, you would want to use some of the pieces from the Christmas season and Christmas to remember bundles. We've not only used some sentiments, but we've used some of the stamps and die cuts from the Christmas season bundle and then the coordinating designer series paper as well. However, you're more than welcome to use anything else that you might have on hand. And um, I actually did this as an exercise with my team last week. I gave them the measurements for all the pieces of paper. I didn't show them what we were making. And it was really fun to see all the different bundles that they pulled in and decided that they wanted to play with for their cards. So let me show you how to make this card right here. I'm just gonna set him maybe over here so you can still see it. Okay, so what you'll need to start to uh, have materials prepped is a card base. This one is the Evening Evergreen cardstock, and I have cut it at five and a half by eight and a half. I have put one score mark at two and one eight, and then I've turned it around and done the same at the two and one eighth inch mark. I will list all of the measurements in the comments of this video, so make sure to just refer to that if you want to go back and make this with me. So you can fold this up with your bone folder or a nice sharp nail if you have one. And what you should have is two little flaps that open and close and don't really go over top of one another at all. And now to decorate, we will need something to write on. On the inside of course so I suggest a piece of white or very vanilla completely your choice my piece is very vanilla and I've cut it at four inches by five and one quarter and I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my tape and put that right on the inside of my card right now so it's good to go you can stamp on this piece later if you want or you can even add you know some scrap from the coordinating designer series paper but I thought it's just nice to have a full writing block handy and you don't need to worry about decorating it until the very end of your project. Who knows if you have some scraps left over. Okay, so there's our writing panel. We don't need to do anything else on the inside of this card now. So let's focus on the outside. Our first priority is decorating these two side panels. They're going to be identical pieces of designer series paper and you're going to cut them at one and seven eighths by five and one quarter. Two of them exactly the same. You can choose the front or back, whatever you'd like from that, and go ahead and attach those to the front of your cart. One on the right panel and you'll want to just make sure you have a little bit of the green showing on all four of the sides. It's cut so that you can have a nice border around it. And then the other one would be exactly the same. If you're worried about making sure they are lined up, you can close your card, fold it closed with the finger, and just kind of eyeball, make sure they're roughly about the same height. Okay. So there we go. So we have a great card that can now open and close. I've actually made this fold quite a few times and what I'll do is I'll make a little belly band for the card with a decal on the front. 
However, we're going to play with something a little different today, and we're going to make these three little interlocking gates. So to make those, let's just cut all those pieces right off the bat, okay? So whatever color you've chosen for the back of your card, those are going to be the colors you choose for these three base panels. One, two, three. These guys are all going to measure one and a half by three and a half. Okay, and then to decorate, we'll need three pieces of paper that are the exact same size. Two will be a designer series paper that coordinates with whatever you've chosen for the front of your card. So just something else from the package. And one will be the same color as your inside writing panel. So if you chose vanilla, make this vanilla. If you chose white, do the, uh, the same as well. Okay, so the size for these guys is going to be uh, one and a quarter by three and a quarter. And they will all coordinate really nicely with one of those three pieces. So let's attach all three of those and just have them set up and ready to go. If you're worried about um, stamping, I would suggest maybe just keep this guy off for a moment and we'll do our stamping on the uh, the vanilla and the white piece before we attach it. Just in case we've made a mistake, we can always flip it over. And then you don't need to worry about it. Okay, but let's attach these other two pieces. They're good to go. And then that will leave us with this little guy right here. We can do a bit of stamping on there. So I've chosen the Have a Holly Jolly Christmas sentiment and I'm stamping that in early espresso. So make sure to have your ink pad in front of you and pull straight up like you would just a makeup compact case and tap, tap, tap on that ink pad very gently because remember it's super juicy and I'm just going to put him off to the right hand side of my little tag here. And now for my decorations. I wanted to have a little sprig of branches kind of coming off the side. So I'm going to use Evening Evergreen for those. And these, once again, they're from the uh, Christmas season stamp set. So those two branches, they don't actually fit in this whole space. And that's perfect. We kind of just want them to go off the edge and um, the reason why it doesn't really matter if you attached this already to the card this is the same ink color so it just looked like it's extending only a slight bit for you okay so this is the only stamping we're doing on this piece which means we can go ahead and attach it to the card and we can actually attach these three panels now before doing our final touches with this little berry branch Okay, so the key now is to find a comfortable position for these. So you just kind of eyeball a little bit of a border on the top and the bottom and the middle. So just lay them out kind of where you'd like them to sit. And then from there, we will start attaching things. So the two designer series, pa series paper pieces, we're going to put dimensionals on the back of the left side. The writing one, we're going to put the dimensionals on the back of the right side. If you switch that, it's okay. As long as these two panels have it on the same side, and this is the opposite of whatever you're doing. So my key is just grab a block, throw it on your workspace. That will keep your card closed for you so you don't go crazy while you're trying to put these together. Okay, so I flipped this over. I'm putting four little dimensionals in um so don't go to the halfway point because remember we don't want it to close your card up so maybe in like the first third of that rectangle that's where you'll want your little um dimensionals to be and this is going to the right side or sorry the left side of my panel here so that's attached and then I actually like to do the bottom one next, just in case I've kind of moved my measurements a little bit. The middle gives me the ability to just kind of figure out the difference and even that out. 
Okay, so once again, I've done the left hand side on the top. So I'm going to make sure this guy is also going onto the left hand side on the bottom. Okay, and now for my middle panel, I am putting dimensionals on the back of the right hand side. Okay, so flip that down. Double checking right hand side and then put that in this middle section here. Okay, so now when you move your block, your pieces will pop out and that shows you because they're in opposite directions that you've yay done everything correctly. So let's work on this little branch and with the other card, I'm actually going to give you a tip on how you could, if you wanted, keep your card a little closed just by using a big deco piece on it but for this one I kind of like that it just springs open so let's work on this little piece right here so I need a scrap of uh, very vanilla that I'm going to use and I'm going to stamp my little um, branch with soft suede ink right here and I'm actually going to do two just because I want to demonstrate something for you so I'm doing two just to show you something. Um, but now I wanted to show a little tip. Let's say you don't have an ink pad for the berries. You don't have a nice red that you want to use, but hey, you have some of our markers. Did you know that you can actually use our markers and uh, color on a stamp and make sure that it's nice and juicy for you? So it only works with the stamp and write markers, these ones here. The blendabilities will dry too quickly because they're the alcohol based ones. Um, so you just kind of, you do have to work quickly, but you just color all over this guy. And then you have to do a little huff on it to make it nice and moist. Okay, I know that's gross, but there you go. I'm gonna keep this handy because I'm gonna show you one other trick with it in a minute, but let's grab our uh, cutting machine. Get that up here for you. You probably won't be able to really see much of what I'm doing. Here we go. Um, but I wanted to show you how to use small little dies on uh, on these sometimes. Sometimes it can get really frustrating to uh, you know have a die move if you've put it down. So I actually like to just grab washi tape. You can grab any sort of washi tape that you have in your collection. And um, if you just kind of put your die down where you want it, You can actually, sorry, I'm doing this upside down, so I can't see. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. It will hold your metal pieces in place for you. So when you roll it through the machine, they're not going to move all over. You're not going to have to do this work again. Okay. So rolling him through, you should... Find this, you can just kind of gently pull your tape off and that should pop out. I'm just going to quickly do this one once more because I wanted to show you that second branch. We only put one branch on our thing, but I, I wanted to show you your options. Okay, so. Oh, hello berries, come back. Eh, I'll get them in a minute. There. Okay, so here is my little piece. And I can put my dies to the side because I don't need them. There's my little berries. There. Okay, so now here's the little trick I wanted to show you. So you can either have cut both of these two at the same time, and we're going to pop this piece up with little dimensionals. Or the other option is if you didn't want to cut those berries out separately, I'll show you how once you've cut a stem, you can actually see through the stamp and you could, uh, you could just stamp straight on top of it too, okay? And just have them kind of one dimensional. But I personally like the berries popped up. But let's say you're, you're in the mood to just do a little bit more stamping. 
So of course we'd color this once more. Give it a little huff. And then you can just whoop, turn it the right way. Uh, go right over top of your image. Make sure to hold these just for a couple seconds so the color kind of seeps in. And there's your berries right in that little space. So totally up to you whether you want, you know, the extra dimension with this piece or if you just want a flat um, option. But make sure you use those markers because they're here for a reason. And um, so you don't want to um, let them go to waste, especially if you're missing a color from your ink pad collection. Okay, so put a couple dimensionals on the back of your stem and then on the front of this guy, we're just going to put it wherever you'd like, kind of somewhere to the left of your sentiment. And to decorate, if you would like any sort of little gold or silver metallic pearls or what I used here, you could also use rhinestones or some of the gilded gems, even the black matte dots. So any embellishment would look really cute just as a way for you to step the card up a little bit. And don't be afraid to try different colors in your card packets. I know sometimes we're just drawn to one pattern, but when you start implementing, you know, the other pieces that you have, you can have a really stunning card as well. Okay. So this is my Christmas version of this layout. Now I want to show you a fall version right here using the Beauty of Tomorrow set, which we've featured so much this month, but um, I had to do it once more because I know a few of you bought this set simply because we've had so much fun playing with it. So here's another card you can use it for. Um, I'm going to very quickly assemble it and um, but every measurement is the same. So I'm not going to go over those again, but uh, I'm just going to quickly assemble it and then I'm going to give you a couple tips on uh, on those two pieces up at the top. OK, so card base. Nicely folded. Got to add our little background for writing on the inside. And if you really were generous, you know, to the person that you're making this for, you could always cut some designer series paper for these inside panels too. But you know, I, uh, I'm mass producing these, so I, I wasn't really sharing the paper that much. So here's my little papers here. I'm going to just take off the backings. Add these to the side panels. And that goes on the left side. Okay, now to build these pieces up, I of course have used the Beauty of the Earth suite. So I've got two pieces of designer series paper that I'm going to attach right now. I love how the gold just shimmers and shines on these. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to, uh, so for this, this card here, I let it pop open the same way that the Christmas one did. But we're going to do this a little opposite because my bird wing is the one here on this side that's kind of keeping everything closed. Um, so I'm going to just show you how, if you wanted, you could always put this guy on the other side and that would keep it really nice and locked. Okay, so let's do a little sentiment stamping while I'm at it. This thank you for everything is, um, it's not actually part of this set. I'll show you the stamps that I've gotten from. It comes from the Flowers of Friendship, this thank you for everything. Um, sometimes I like to just make sure I'm using my sets. Okay, so oh, I didn't put adhesive on there. Pop this guy up. Like so. 
Now the reason I laid my first card out like I did is because the bird naturally kind of flutters towards the sentiment. However, you could easily have him kind of fluttering off your card as well and putting this branch on this side. So let's see what that looks like. And you can decide what you like better if it's kind of more of a priority for you to have um, the card closed or if you'd rather have the uh, the bird kind of floating in the right direction for, for um, his wingspan, okay? So remembering the little pieces here are going on the right hand side for the one that we did our stamping on and on the left hand side for those that are just the designer series paper. And once again, just gonna grab a random block to kind of close my card up. And if you're feeling unsure about your spacing, go ahead and lay all three pieces out before you even try to put any of them down. Um, but I've, I've kind of made quite a few of these lately. So I'm going to do this part rather quickly for you. One on the top and one on the bottom. There we go. Those are both on the left hand side. And then we've got our right hand side right here. There. So to attach my little um, piece here, I have, what I've done is I've embossed the image on early espresso with gold embossing powder. And I'm actually going to just put dimensionals right on this white or vanilla, I guess, piece so that I make sure I'm not getting any sticky parts on any other parts of the card. Okay, so we're going to put this guy onto the right hand side here. And you can see the heaviness of the leaves and the stem is preventing my card from popping open like the one on the left. Okay, so if you want your card to stay closed and you really would like that, um, it would take a little bit more work for your recipient to kind of pull that apart. And then of course, to close it again, they would just gently have to kind of tuck these pieces in behind, which, you know, I'm sure they're used to by now with you giving them very complicated cards. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Here's our little bird. And you could put that anywhere. You could even put it down here. You can put it up here. And I think I kind of like, I don't know what I like. I haven't actually played with that part. We'll do it right there. Um, I did put a couple gilded gems just to decorate this card. And so you could of course do the exact same thing either by the bird's wing on this side now or you can keep them in the same position just on the right as whatever you prefer there you go so i hope you guys enjoyed today's cards i know it gives you a little bit of a glimpse into the christmas season and then also you know it hasn't snowed yet so let's enjoy fall while it's here and you can play with that beauty of tomorrow suite as well if you have any questions, um, do remember to check out the measurements in the comments and uh, please don't hesitate to message me if there's anything I can clarify for you or if there's anything I can help you order. We do, um, we have a stamp sale starting tomorrow, but unfortunately these ones are not on sale. It's only the sets in our annual catalog, but still they are all 15% off. It's a great deal and um, I'd be happy to get you that flyer if you're interested in taking a peek at all. So I will see you later. Enjoy your Tuesday. Bye guys.